is it even a new vlog without matcha absolutely not so i made my refreshing matcha recipe literally just like lemon mint honey <laughs> oh yeah um it's really good you guys have to try it i put it in another vlog so go check it out but um starting the vlog off my name is sonali if you guys are new here i'm honestly not really in the mood to vlog today but i know when it comes to monday when i like edit my weekly vlogs i'm gonna regret not having content for you guys so i'm gonna push through and i don't know i feel like i've just been a little bit repetitive lately like let me know what you think um do you guys like the austin content do you guys like the apartment content am i just talking about matcha way too much like let me know this morning i was so excited because i got a delivery message from nordstrom that my Doc Martens arrived. So I went to check all the package places, front door, mailbox, office, because I live in an apartment and there was no Doc Martens anywhere and I was so sad. My camera died, we are back though. Um, like I was saying, I was really sad that I didn't have my Doc Martens, but I called Nordstrom and like literally, I didn't really even have to wait for their customer service. And I told them that it wasn't delivered and they were like, okay, we'll just, you know, replace them and ship you out a new pair with two day shipping. And I was like, thank you so much. I thought I was gonna have to like argue with someone or something and it was so easy. So that was really nice. I feel like stuff like that easily, like not ruins my day, but just puts me in a bad mood because like obviously that is a lot of money. <laughs> and so I don't want it to be just like gone. Um, but I wonder where the freak they are. Cause it said it was delivered yesterday. So I don't know, we'll figure it out. Um, but I don't really have much to do today, but I was planning on just filming a frick ton of TikToks. Let me just tell you guys this again. If you guys are a micro-influencer, influencer, blogger, photographer, if you have a small business, you guys need to get on TikTok right now. My sister has been telling me to do this like since I swear like maybe like last December. No, like the last last December I don't even know when TikTok was like a thing I honestly regret not getting it on it sooner um because I feel like every time I post like one TikTok whether like you know 100 people see it or like thousands of people see it I get new followers for some reason those followers on TikTok um transfer over to Instagram which is great because like I've been trying to grow that for a really long time so I encourage you guys to get on TikTok you know whether it's like dancing or just like telling people what products you like and i think that i'm gonna go that route because i tried the dancing route and i don't know if that's for me really so i wrote down a bunch of my amazon favorites i think i'm gonna make a series out of it so like part one part two kind of thing if you guys don't know fridays i don't work my part-time job so it's like a content creation day but when i get to fridays i just want to like chill and do nothing because I'm just like always doing content creation and sometimes there's a little bit of a burnout when I get to the end of the week. Tonight I'm actually going to go to dinner with some friends that I haven't seen in so long. We're going to go to Bar Peach and I've wanted to try it for so long. And I saw that there was a frosé on the menu so I'm probably going to have to get that. <laughs> Should be a fun day. Don't know how much I'm going to vlog. Probably going to turn this into like a weekend vlog honestly because I'm not even sure what we're going to do. Hey. Sophie barks all the time when Ryan plays golf in the house. <laughs> Sophie! That's not good doggy. Sophie! You guys may remember this blanket that I got from Target. For some reason, it was in my guest room for a while, but I brought it out on the couch because it is officially fall, y'all, and we got a little pumpkin over there. Okay, this place is messy. I'm really sorry. I'm embarrassed right now. I filmed two TikToks and then I did a Friday faves on my Instagram stories. I'm trying to do that. I've been saying that I wanted to do that for so long and I finally took the plunge and did it. There's so many products that I'm buying and trying out and I obviously want to tell you guys about it. So whether that's like beauty, fashion, lifestyle, like I want you guys to know my favorite products. So I think I'm going to try to do that every Friday on my Instagram stories. If you guys aren't already following me, go ahead, check it out. I'll probably make a highlight for all of my Friday faves so you can just look at it whenever. But I wanted to show you guys all of my Amazon sunglasses. I thought that would be like kind of fun. Um, I'm trying to do different stuff in my vlog just because like I said, I feel like it's a little bit repetitive. So I feel like bringing more fashion hauls into it could be fun. So I think I got like four new sunglasses from Amazon. I don't know why. Well, I am going to the beach soon. So that's a big reason why. But I thought I just needed some like cute like fall sunglasses. And um, I've been wearing these for months now. I still love them. And honestly, I feel like they're indestructible because 
I treat my sunglasses like shit. That's why I love buying them on Amazon because they're so cheap. These are adorable. They're just like round sunglasses. I did want some more oversized ones, so I got these. Give me one second, let me find them. They're pretty similar to the ones I just had on, but I feel like this is a really good Ray-Ban dupe because they have something similar. And I feel like all the bloggers wear them with their cute outfits and I just wanted those sunglasses so bad. But like I said, I can't spend that much on sunglasses. These have more of like a rectangular shape and these are more round. I feel like I like these better because they're just like so oversized. I really like that. And I got these. It's just a black round. This is kind of unique because I don't really have sunglasses with that little bridge nose thingy mabob. And cute. Love me a good pair of black sunnies. And then these are really cute. So I'll start off with the tortoise ones. I feel like these are super trendy right now. Like the little cat eye thing, but just more like boxy, not like the round cat eyes. So we have this color, the tortoise color, and then we also have it in black. I think I like the black ones better. I feel like they just will probably go with a lot more. And these came in the same package for under $20. So two sunglasses for under $20. Pretty sure they're like $17.99 or something like that. And then pretty much all of these sunglasses were like probably like around $15, which is really good. I'll definitely be putting the links down below. So if you guys, um, you know, want any of these sunglasses, be sure to check those links out. It's 2.40 and it's lunchtime. I actually cooked this whole week, which is crazy of me because usually Ryan says like, do you want tacos? And I'm like, yeah, I want tacos, let's not cook. And then we end up spending money. And I mean, either way, obviously you have to buy the groceries, but <laughs> what is this camera doing? Either way we have to buy groceries, but like at least we're using the groceries, like they're not going to waste. But yesterday I went to HEB because I actually made my own ice cream. I wonder if it's like frozen today, but I made my own ice cream out of heavy whipping cream, coconut milk. Wait, no, I didn't add coconut milk. Heavy whipping cream, sweetened condensed milk, and like coconut flakes and chocolate chips. And it's actually really good. I actually made it from a TikTok. You know how you like a TikTok and then you can see all your likes? I wish they had something like the Instagram boards because I always want to save like things that I'll actually use or like, you know, like cooking hacks or recipes i want to save that but then they're like all mixed in with like fashion inspo and i'm just like i can never find anything so i started to write out them in a notes app and just like link the tiktoks on there so whenever i want to go back i have that i went to heb last night and then i got this shrimp spring roll with peanut sauce so good literally my favorite thing in their sushi section their sushi is not the best unless you like eat it right then and there um but it's still not really the best, but these rolls, so good. So one of my packages got here from Nordstrom. So weirdly, it got like split up into two and then both of them got shipped by two different carriers, which was super weird. The other one was like with a local carrier and then this one was by UPS. And these shoes are from Dolce Vita and They are beautiful. So they're literally just like plain black square toed. I just love these straps for some reason. So I'm really excited. Let me try them on. For the past year or so, I stopped buying heels that are super high. So these are just like block heels. I don't know how many inches that is. Maybe like four or something. I would show you guys my feet, but my toes are like not painted and they are always painted. It's been on my to-do list this whole week, but I have not gotten around to it. I always just mess my toes up. So I don't know if I should like wait until I get my nails done for our beach trip because I'll go and get my nails done for that or just like paint them myself. We'll see. It is almost 5 p.m. I just checked. It's gonna take me 20 minutes to get there, which I feel like is a long time. It's only on the east side. I wanted to show you guys my outfit really quick because I'm finally wearing my boots and I'm so excited. Not my Doc Martens, but my boots that I got last year. I'm just wearing this like strapless bodysuit and then my oversized denim jacket from Amazon. And then these shorts, they're from Abercrombie and they're just so comfortable. They're not like super tight or anything. They're almost like straight leg jeans, but they're like shorts versions. And then I can't remember where I got these boots, but I'll try to link them down below. Do you know what brand these are? You remember? 
Ah, uh, yes, it's Camino. Of course, we have a little bit of an outfit change. <laughs> like, literally one second after I recorded that, I was like, wait, I feel like this shirt would look good. So, this is from Amazon. I literally just got it. It's just like a silk shirt. And Ryan said it looked cool and buttoned. I feel like I agree. We'll see. Hopefully, I don't get stains on it. I'm here at Bar Peach with Connor and Mia. Look how good my drink looks. I got the Frosé. It wasn't, oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope that was in the back. Party foul, bro. He's doing minutes I'm starting the day off by doing a closet clean out and I just started to like try on my jeans and I have some super great news. I can finally fit into like a lot of my old jeans. I think I went up to a size 12 in jeans and I just fit into a size 8 which is crazy. They were American Eagle jeans so I don't know if like all jeans are different but I literally just bought jeans online and I'm pretty sure I bought like size 12s and size like 31s or something so i'm probably gonna have to return those and get um like smaller sizes this is honestly so exciting and last night i was out with my friends and i wore my zara straight leg jeans that i love like to death i got them literally in quarantine like when was it maybe april or something and wait was that april i guess that was kind of a long time ago but I wore them last night. They were literally falling off me. I don't know why I wore them out um, Because I knew that they were baggy, but I thought like the waistline was like fine Like they fit me. I thought the jeans were just baggy like on the like legs part But they were falling off me, which it was a great feeling But also I was like holding my pants up the whole time <laughs> I really don't want to come off as bragging But I also want this for my memories and my vlogs It honestly makes me so happy when people say that like I inspired them to start you know getting healthier or i mean i'm not really working out but just eating better um it makes me really happy so if this can be your motivation i hope it is and i hope this helps someone out i'm pretty sure i got these jeans in college they're definitely still a little bit tight but they are skinny jeans so i guess they're kind of supposed to be tight i feel like i'm just so used to wearing like straight leg jeans and like really baggy jeans i'm gonna go try them all on and we'll see which ones I get rid of. These are my most recent jeans and they are a size 12 and they fit like perfect. So I'm just so confused, like what freaking size am I? I measured myself and it looks like I'd be a 10 in Abercrombie, but this is Abercrombie jeans, so I'm really confused. Maybe I need to get like fitted in the store, like a bra or something, but um, I'm very confused. I'll link them down below. I got a regular size, so I probably should have gotten the short, but I think I'm gonna cut it anyway. I'm about to give all these clothes to Uptown Cheap Street. See how much money I can get. I have like a bunch of shoes. <laughs> Y'all, this is like literally as wide as our bed. I haven't worn any of this in like a, at least a year probably. What the? I didn't even like. A jackets under here. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Because I feel like that it doesn't. I mean, I, you have a lot of clothes, but it doesn't. I feel like this is your whole closet on on the floor, but you still have some in there. So I'm gonna target the long clothes. That'd be cold if I want that. Place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want like, do you have denim? I saw they said, I don't know about men's stuff, but I didn't know they were looking for like denim, sweaters. Yeah, some sweatshirts and sweatpants, and these are like Peter Millar denim jeans, kind of. Ryan's about to get his shopping spree. It's all too big for me now, I can't wear <laughs> So me and Ryan bet a $300 shopping spree if, um, <laughs> it's not 400 babe, it's 300. We didn't even write this shit down, so like I could have not even done this, but he, um, he's pretty much winning. Um, it's, we were just trying to like hit our goals for losing weight and he pretty much already won by a landslide um so i'm gonna take him on a shopping spree he first wanted a lululemon shopping spree but now i think what'd you say you wanted marine layer on south congress is that what it is yeah, some outdoor voices yeah. outdoor vo i don't think i've ever heard outdoor voices come out of your mouth i didn't even know you thought i knew what that was that me didn't <laughs> oh my god 
Um, so how, how much weight have you lost? It's been after I ate last night, I ate a, I ate a huge dinner. <laughs> um, started at around 272-ish. I'm over 270, and then um, I weighed, last night I weighed 243. So, what is that? Almost 30 pounds. Holy sh are you kidding me? 30 pounds? Not 30. I don't know. I so it's 40, I 50, 60, and 70. Holy yeah. shit, what the heck? Yay! Well then you deserve a freaking shopping spree. Get rid of all this freaking clothes and get some new good stuff. We just went to Uptown Cheapskate, dropped off a bunch of our clothes, and now we're gonna go to the Soup Peddler because we've been wanting to go here for a while. It's just like a soup place, sandwich, smoothies kind of thing. The smoothie sounds really good. I'm super thirsty. Time to try my juice. Oh my god, I think I have been transported to the freaking beach. I wish it was a little, a little colder, but it's so good. Try mine. Ryan got a smoothie. I like mine. What? <laughs> we said that at the same time. <laughs> what? Mine's so good. It has like lemon, ginger, pineapple, everything I love. So yummy. I got the morning delight or something, and then what did you get? The ZB. The ZB. Oh, the bee pollen. And then I got some chicken rice soup, and then Ryan got um, grilled, cheese. grilled cheese. This is such a vibe out here. So cute. It is the next day. I didn't vlog too much yesterday because we had a really boring Saturday, and I just felt really sad the whole day, so obviously didn't really want to vlog that, but I did end up getting $74 in cash from Uptown Cheapskate for only seven items, so I feel like that's good because I feel like if... Plato's took seven of my items, they probably would have paid me like $30. Um, so I feel like that's pretty good, but um, you could have gotten store credit, and if I got store credit, it would have been $104, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I just took the cash because, I mean, I, I actually really like shopping there, but currently I'm just, you know, saving up more and more every day for that new damn iPhone whenever it comes out. Hopefully it comes out soon, but I heard October 12th or something. So we will see, but I'm hyped about that because my phone is a piece of poop. I mean, it works, but it like glitches sometimes. I thought I would end this vlog off with like a couple of questions from a Q&A that I did on my Instagram stories. Um, I'm just going to pick out some like random questions that I didn't answer. So let's do it. First two questions I see, which I feel like maybe I should address on the vlog. Well, not address, but... This girl says, are you really Indian? Yes, I am. Both of my parents are Indian. My mom was actually born in the States, but then she went to college in India where she met my dad and my dad was born in India. And then which place in India are your ancestors from? So my mom is from Kerala and my dad is from um, Bombay, Bangalore. I think he was born in Bombay and lived in Bangalore or the other way around. Um, let's see what else. What are some preset tips for brown skin? Okay, so I always desaturate my skin and then um, lower the luminance. So it's like this olivey, like brown, but not like too saturated orange. I always lean towards more of a yellow tint on my skin, but I hope that helps you guys out. What are some places that you would like to travel to? I definitely want to go to Italy again. That was my... Last place I really traveled outside of the country, other than like islands nearby to the US. I wanna go back there with Ryan and just explore the Amalfi Coast. That's like a dream vacation. Um, I still can't believe I was able to go to Rome. Definitely check out those vlogs because they are so cool. And like, honestly, probably the best experience of my life was going to Rome by myself. It was like crazy, but I did it and it was so cool. I'll actually have those vlogs down below. But other than that, I really just wanna be in Cancun right now and an all-inclusive like I just want to eat whatever the frick I want I want to be able to drink 10 pina coladas because they're just so yummy and like mojitos are my shit I just want to be in an all-inclusive so I want to go to Mexico I guess <laughs> next person asked do you want kids and when so it's weird because I feel like this has definitely changed 
the older I get. If you ask my mom, she'll tell you that I wanted a baby when I was like two years old. But now that I know how much babies cost and how much work they are, like sometimes I don't even have time to like give Sophie that much attention and I feel bad. So I think that, you know, hopefully when the time is right, then that can happen. And especially like when we're stable with money and stuff like that, I'm not opposed to it and I definitely want kids in the future. Next question is, how long have you been on YouTube? I have been doing YouTube since 2013, so about seven years now, but when I started in 2013, I wasn't extremely consistent. I would post like a video a month, but that's when I started YouTube. That's all the questions I'm gonna answer here, but feel free to drop any other questions you all might have in the comments down below, and then maybe I can add another Q&A to next weekend's vlog. It'd be really cool to end every vlog with a Q&A, but I feel like there's not that many questions out there for me. I think I'm gonna start a new vlog today. We're gonna go to breakfast, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!